Hello everyone and welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Um, we had been speaking to Navlan, but back to the matter at hand. We will be going forward into the Dragon Eyrie and into potentially Dragon Shrine. Um, some people may call this Dragon Eyrie, but most people have come to know this as Candyland itself because of the amount of twinkling titanite and all types of all types of titanite you'll find in this particular area. It's actually quite absurd, uh, but with good with good cause, I guess. They are not. They are farming routes within this game, and it's always good to have one. Oh no! Can't get that. Totally forgot about this bad boy. And there's nothing I can do with, with the weapons I have to get them, uh, to kill them without using potentially a bow. Could have used that to shoot them down, but. You don't really have to if you don't want to. Of course, this is Candyland for those seeking out candy. But I, I don't have anything in particular right now that I need to use any Twinkling Titanite on. Luckily enough, but feel free to come here and blow as many bonfire settings, farming all these things as much as you want because it it really is worth farming. And of course the dragons have a little something something for you too. Let's see if we can get it into its AI loop. I think... Nope. Let's see. Let's stand right here. Nope. There's a way you can stand in between them and make them glitch out but... You don't really have to do it. Okay. Oh, really? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's funny as hell. But anyway, back back to serious talk. There's a way you can position yourself in between their legs such that the 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 dragons don't really know what's going on and they just start walking around in circles. I don't know. That could have been patched by now, and I'm just uh, unleashing some old man old man knowledge on some people but hey man I don't know don't know if they patched it or not I didn't read any patch notes on the dragon eerie but let's try to be a bit more serious now back again could try out this guy again shoot Oh my word, there's no damage I could do with this. I guess because the bow is not upgraded at all, so... It's actually quite pathetic. Mm, let's replace this for this. Uh, do I really need this now? Not really. Let me try to get my groove back. And then... Hopefully... I can talk about a few things about the game that I think are kind of interesting. Oh, come on. Just let me get in between them legs, baby girl. Luckily enough, these bad boys, well, not luckily, but if you're farming for, for like, petrified dragon bones or petrified some things, then it's not good that they don't spawn again. And this is where we pick up the dragon tooth. Let's read about it. If we can find it, that is. Dragon tooth, dragon tooth, where art thou? A giant dragon tooth used as a great hammer. 
as solid as a boulder, this tooth is said to have been taken from a dragon, but the truth of this claim is unclear. What is certain is that it bears some mystical power and is willed against resistance to fire and magic. Um, there's, there's no way to know if this is the same, um, the same dragon tooth that was wielded by the person who gave you Havel's ring by the tower in Dark Souls 1. Because of the fact that it's just a dragon tooth, nonetheless, there's just, that's pretty much, oh, forgot about you. I really wish I had a weapon that could strike the ground reliably, but I just don't. Slashing weapons, well, at least the slashing weapons I have and thrusting weapons are just terrible at that job. Uh, usually I would come here like with a downward swinging weapon or a hammer class weapon and it's quite easy, really, no, no hustle. Hustle or bustle about that, but it's actually quite not ideal to come here with the weapon sets that I have. But at least you get a good view of what's going on. Dragons moving around. Guys trying to blow you up. Boom! But failing. Um, one. One interesting thing, um, unrelated to the area itself, <coughs> is um, there's still the sense of uh, when you come through this part of the game, you still don't know what is your purpose. As like when we went to Triangle Lake Castle, we understood that Nashandra wanted it, wanted us to uh, wanted to use us for something. Uh, the problem is that something is unknown. Now, hold on, hold on, hold. Petrified dragon bone, that's real good. Um, now you have to understand that there was a Malfonito that was imprisoned within the Drang Lake castle. Now, you have to ask yourself, why is that so? No! No! Stamp, stamp again, please. Not that way, though. <laughs> this is literally the worst, worst Dragonary run I've ever had. Petrified something. So I was saying there was a Malfonito that was imprisoned within the Trang Lake Castle, and you just have to ask yourself why? Why? What's the significance of that? We understood that Nashandra is bred from the dark, she's from the dark, and I guess there could be some elements that just prevent her or pre uh, repel her power. And one of these could be the power that the Malfonito reside. Why couldn't Nashandra follow the king into the undead crypt? Oh, nope. Not now. Down here is another crystal lizard. That are more crystal lizards for everyone to farm. My word, this truly is Candyland for those who want to get themselves some candy. Let's try poison this bad boy. Funnily enough, I believe you can poison these guys, but you couldn't poison the boss, hence why you saw me trying to poison the boss, but... Yeah. 
luckily enough our measly stats oh allow us to have a shield that can block 100 percent gladly enough and i believe the poison should get a hold of these guys the hardest thing really is just maneuvering with the camera these guys can be a nuisance with the camera at times Hopefully another petrified dragon bone. Yes, we are in luck. I think, I believe I need three more. No. Yeah, I actually killed one for the first time in my entire life. Even though it was only twinkling pale stone. Nah, don't really care about that stuff. Ring of the evil eye plus one. That's always fantastic. Isn't it? Great hero soul. So as I was saying, the powers of the Malfa Nito and the Finito that were granted to them by Nito could have some reasoning as to why why Nashandra just can't do what she wants to do. She needs you for one of these tasks and It's quite interesting. Let's try to drop down here. Get some twinkle sprinkle. And we are homeward going back. Now, of course, you could just sit at the bonfire and rinse repeat. I'm just gonna sit down for the durability of my weapons. Uh, the dragons should not respawn, I believe. Unless there was a new patch that I did not, I'm not privy of, but you never know. But I don't believe that should be the case. If so, we can just try and make quick work of them. But, as I was saying, King Vendrick resided into the Undead Crypt. That's where he finally went hollow. That's where Velstadt, uh went to protect his king one last time. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope, and nope again. Let us continue our life. Oh, that guy was just like, nah, nah. But anyway, I'm just trying to display to you guys that even without lock on, it's extremely rare for me to be able to get a hit on those things. You'd have, they would have to be on an elevated state. And. I don't know. It's just not worth it in my view. We can get this treasure by swinging on this rope from up there to down here, but it's only a great hero, so it's not really worth the potential death. But if you feel like really looting out this area, you can start by getting all the twinkles, all the twinkle sprinkle from all the, the, the these uh, small little guys of ours and bonfire setting everything and keep on moving and on and on and on and, and my other saves I believe there was one particular save where I wanted to upgrade the armor that required uh, twinkling titanite I just came here and really went to town on the things uh, let's see what else did I want to do I wanted to come down here so I don't know I guess if you can look at Na Nashandra and the Malfanito, is this another treasure? Let's see, this is potentially another treasure that will set us back. Because there are some areas in this place that you can't actually come back from, and I don't know. I kind of don't like that concept. Pharaoh's Lockstone. And we're stuck again. Such is exploration in the Dragon Area. So, I believe that the reason why you find that Malfa Nito that's trapped and you use the, the key of the embedded to free her is that maybe the Malfa Nito and the Fenito have a certain power or have a certain grasp on Nashandra that she just can't work with. She just can't do anything about them. Mm, hold on. I believe there should be another way or another bridge. I don't know. Just trying to remember because I know there's a ladder above my head. Ah, who gives a damn? Let's just move forward. 
think it's the way to the right. Um, but anyway, you free, you free the Melfa Nito. She uses you to do this, but for what purpose? She needs you for something. Maybe she needs you to go get. She wants you to go put Vendrick out of his misery. Maybe, maybe she wants you to take care of certain loose ends that she can't take care of because of the fact that the Malfinito still exists within this realm. That, that's potentially could be it, but I'm not too sure because it just doesn't make sense for Nashandra to all of a sudden come and try manipulate you like she was manipulating Vendrick. Maybe Vendrick decided that the Malfinito and the powers of light should not be extinguished from the world and hence why he needed his places of solitude in the shrine of Amana to think about what to do and finally when you realize that Nashandra is just too powerful for him he lost all hope and went over to the undead crypt to reside in his final resting place and like the Emerald Herald said one day you walk those grounds without ever knowing why an interesting thing about those words is that the Emerald Herald is quite an interesting character. <laughs> just realized that I'm just running around in circles here, but I don't know. I love the the visuals. And one thing that um, determines what time the dragon comes and smashes this bridge, I believe is actually the number of eggs you break behind you. If you really want to anger the dragon, then at least you know what to do. <laughs> one fire lit. Let's try and move forward. I don't think I'll spend too much time in this area. Uh, maybe I'll kill one or two things. But overall, most of the things will either cheese or just run away from. see what this guy come on give me one last shot one last shot this is the only one i would like to kill for now oh until we get cheesed by get cheesed by one of the the mages up in the corner just wanted to come here for the ferrous lockstone contraption and oosh Okay. <laughs> Little bit of some glitching going on there, but this was all just for Velka's set. The Staff of Wisdom. Let's take a look at it real quick before we move on. A mask honoring an ancient goddess, Sin was said to be a domain, but the name of this goddess is long forgotten. Little is known about what purpose the mask served, only that it was worn by a person of great authority. So we know that Velka's bishops wore those masks, they donned those masks. We don't, I personally don't know who else was eligible to wear those masks. Uh, but we all know that the Pardoners did, like Cromwell in this game, and Oswald in the previous. Get some bonfire aesthetics here, and let's get ready to start running away from people. really don't they have a chance to drop their weapons but I don't know don't really need it oh for a second I heard their footsteps and I thought the guy was jumping down that would have been some scary stuff this is where you get the washing pole 
really awesome weapon really really awesome weapon in terms of its range it's, it's so amazing it reminds me of Sephiroth from Final Fantasy 7 it's just the, the range is just ridiculous on this weapon and of course Oh, the thrusting attacks. Just an amazing weapon. Very good in PvP. Very, very good in PvP. And really good with the buff, of course. And get a Titanite Slab. I should have saved my poison for this. Now that I think about it. I only have two of those. What we could try to do is... Do a little mix and match. Let's do this. I believe we have two and two. Okay. Come on, bro. One, two, three, four. Yes, <laughs> we got it. Let's try and let the poison do a little bit of some work. Fire off some dark orbs here. If we could just stop blocking, that would be nice. But I honestly don't care. Just gonna spam them. Got some boots from that. It's awesome. And we move on. I believe that was once... <laughs> <laughs> that was one infamous patch that nerfed the hell out of Dragon Shrine. It was, it was quite amazing. Because this place, the, the enemies in this area really didn't give two craps about you. The Dragon Ring. Okay, let's buff up and go kill the invader. Dragon Fang Villiard. Mem a member of the Dragon, Dragon Covenant. I don't know if we'll be able to stagger him with the thrust from the rapier, but... Hopefully, you will apply as much of the buff as we possibly can. Oh, okay. Or maybe not. Okay. Got the staggering going. Back off, back off, stagger again. Ooh, that crit. Final hit. And here we encounter a contraption holding something of great value and something very interesting with the lore. And that is this petrified egg. Let's take a look at what's going on with that. Uh, not dragon scale. Where's the petrified egg? There it is. Large petrified egg surely bears no life. Eggs are vessels that harbor life itself and symbolize the deepest secrets of existence. But what does a petrified egg harbor? A dragon, sadly. And in here... Find the watch dragon palmer. Nope. and a shield decorated by <clears throat> intertwined dragons the black and white contrast depicts the ebb and flow of the fate of all things living and the serpentine dragons that watch over the march of time the bearer of the shield will be blessed by great fortune in battle and it has a real cool design serpent similar to <clears throat> And the design of some of the serpentine statues that you can find in Drying Lake, like the Shrine of Winter. And it's, it's a personally cool looking shield. Sadly, I don't believe the stats are all that good. Maybe if you... If you can uh, imbue it with something. If we come down here, we should get one less treasure. Crystal magic weapon. <laughs> Low. Okay, let's see. Let's see if we can try ninja through with these guys. Let's draw them all the way back. No! Oh my word! What? What hit me? <laughs> I was stun locked before the animation actually occurred. I wanted to draw them back and then go open the door, but sadly. Sometimes Dark, Dark Souls just decides to go all glitch fest on you, and there's not much I can do about that. 
if hitboxes were just at different times. We're going to have to go to Majula now to repair the ring, sadly again. <laughs> Wasting more time, but I don't know. Something we just have to do. Mm, let's see. I... Now, no. Nope. Sc... Oh, come on. And you can... Keep on pressing the wrong buttons. Repair. I'll be around. And what did I want to do here? I guess we can remove this for now. This is pretty much a ring of favor and protection. A dragon signet ring grants the spirit the protection of dragons, increase HP, stamina, and maximum equipment load, but is easily broken. Roman Knight of Drang Lake served the king by guarding the fort until his own demise and was said to have cherished this ring, cherished this ring throughout his life of service. It's an awesome ring, of course. Always worth equipping some, unless you have a specific reason not to. But it's pretty much a free ring of favor and protection. There's just one last thing we need to do in this dragon shrine. But it's going to be difficult to do because now we're going to have to speed run through most things. But I don't know. Hopefully we can try accomplish. That's the ability that had the weird hitbox. Guess we can come here and kill this guy, or at least try. Get some faint stone. Check out what's in this particular thing. Oh, well, this guy looks at us crazy. Drake Keeper's Great Axe and Drake Keeper's Shield. Okay, now we try again with these guys. Right. Door opens slowly, of course. Oh, that was, that was actually quite lucky. Okay, here I would like to speed run through these guys, but I think it's just safer not to. Because they don't actually have shields, so we could try... Try and take advantage of that if we can actually get into range. Oh my word, missed the door totally. Okay, that's the safe way of doing things. Or else, if you're quite ballsy, you could have just ran past everything. I do not have any arrows, sadly. So let's equip. This should be a single pull if I am correct. Okay. Big boy wants to play. But these are the Dragon Acolytes, those who are trying to become a dragon. That's pretty much the law of this particular area is humans trying to find ways or beings trying to find ways to become the ultimate um, incarnation of life, which is being lifeless, I guess. Which is to become the dragon itself. Woo! 
Oh, it's close. Okay. No. <laughs> the challenge is real, ladies and gentlemen. You could just parry them, but I don't know. I'm a bit slow in the head, so. <laughs> oh man, take it nice and easy. Now, this area right here is when I will equip a little current the action. Because there ain't no way I'm messing with this. Ain't no way, no way, no way. I'm messing with what? That that stun though. That stun though. My god. That stun god broke me when I wasn't. No, hell no. Don't you dare. Right. As I was saying, the pretty much the law of the shrine is people trying to become dragons and we know that Vendrick was trying to was trying to find the essence of the law of the soul he tried to peer into the essence of the soul and Aldia aided him in this and Aldia is potentially is it's is probably one of the people who aided into the construction of the shrine in the first place and this ancient dragon is quite interesting the murk shifts and stirs. Yet another stands before us. Then so be it. For the curse of life is the curse of want. And so you peer into the fog in hope of answers. Ashen Mist Heart. Let's check what it says. Manifestation of Ashen Mist received from the Ancient Dragon. The magic of the Ancient Dragon allows one to delve into the memories of the Withered. So before I talk more about Eldia and this Ancient Dragon, we're going to need to go back to Brightstone Cove, Seldora. More speedrunning, I guess. Right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Bright Stone Cove, Seldora. I believe there should be another. Hmm. I'm confused. I know this is Bright Stone Cove, but the image just doesn't look like the bon the location of the bonfire itself. It just looks so weird. But I guess it makes sense. Yep, it's the one. Uh, let's try not to die, but I cannot promise anyone anything. Nope, nope, not this way. I didn't go up this way. But, as I was saying, that Ashen Mist Heart is going to allow us to delve into a memory of the dragon that we saw by the boss room of Duke's Dear Freya. And of course, there will be more memories that we can delve into. That's just the one in particular that we're going for right now. And I wonder what this is. Prey. I've never seen this before. Creighton the Wanderer. Oh no, lol. <laughs> I guess I never went back to see what killing NPCs does, but anyway. That's what happens. Ah, 
trying to find the safe way down, but... Nothing so safe in this world anymore. I've got an idea. Uh, since we won't be needing this, we can equip the catch ring and hope for the best. Ooh, made it. Let's try and run our way past these bad boys once again. This is going to be the tricky part, but we're just going to have to try. Now we've surrounded ourselves, we need to lure this guy out. Since we've lured him out, we run out this way. And then we go forward. For the blind man like me who can't see, let's crack a torch and move on. Just go down this way. Go down this way. No, 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 spiders. No, 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 no. There we go. Let's hold on to that age feather just in case they catch us. <laughs> but anyway, this is the dragon that I was saying was being possessed. I believe Seat, as much as Seat's soul was manifesta was manifesting itself, that's not even a real word. But anyway, it was manifest within this area. I believe you can think about it like you kill the Duke's dear Freya to get that soul. And you may wonder why some people like me might, specu might speculate that this body, this body of an actual ancient dragon is the reason why Sith decided to manifest himself in Brightstone Cove, Saldora, is because he wanted to use uh, Freya and all her spiderlings to take over the area so that he himself may continue his research and find a way to get the body of that dragon. Now the reason I say this is because Seep had no scales, those scales of immortality that the dragons bore. He himself was an anomaly in the existence of the dragons because the dragons were neither living nor dead. But the fact that Seep had no scales meant that he was going to die. So he hated and betrayed them for that one mere reason that he himself, being the albino that he was, was out of place. He was angry at the fact that the dragons had what he could not ever have and that was a body of immortality so i believe that's the one true reason as to why seat decided to re-exist within brightstone cove saldora and it was his reason as to why he used freya to try take over ancient dragon soul Now, before we take a read of the Ancient Dragon Soul, let's bonfire our way back to Majula as our last traveling location. We'll read the, the description there and I will tell you as to why the dragon... I'll tell you as to why the dragon in the Dragon Shrine is not actually a dragon. Of course, it's common knowledge by now to most people, but hey... If you're playing this game for the first time and you have a few answers or a few questions that need answering, this could be one of those questions. But here's the ancient dragon soul. Soul of the great dragon that stands magnificently deep within the shrine. And this is the dragon shrine they're talking about. This powerful being stands and waits, forever may waits for whoever may visit him. Use the dragon soul created by those let me repeat that again. Use the dragon soul that is created by those who peer into the essence, who peered into the essence of the soul to acquire numerous souls or to create something of great worth. Now, <clears throat> there are only two known people who are knowledgeable and bright enough 
to have wandered and peered into the soul, and that is Aldia and King Vendrick. What do we know about King Vendrick? King Vendrick had problems within his kingdom, and King Vendrick has gone hollow within the undead crypt due to Nashandra and all women-related problems that he was having. But Aldia had 99 problems, but a bitch was never one. <laughs> he was uh, responsible for the experiments within Aldia's keep, his own keep. Those acolytes were his acolytes doing his will. And you may wonder to yourself, if King Vendrick crossed the river to defeat the giants, then what happened to the souls of the giants that King Vendrick obtained? One last thing. When you go to the ancient dragon, it tells you that the mist, the, the, it's the, that life is murky and it shifts and stirs. Yet you have come to talk to us, not to me. Me and us are two different things, of course. Me is singular. You're coming to talk to one being. You're only coming here to me. But then to us, you're saying you are coming here to speak to we, a collection of people. Now, you may wonder, where is Aldia in this entire game, though he may be spoken of? Some people may say Aldia might have left Drang Lake. But I personally believe that Aldia is part of that new creation, that new ancient dragon. He has achieved what Seath has failed to achieve. Potential immortality. Potential cure to the curse. A potential cure to being undead and the potential cure to hollowing. And if so, then someone might ask themselves, why does Aldia say we? Like I said, all the souls that Venger collected during his journey across the sea to fight the giants could have been used to combine all the powers into Aldia to form this dragon. Reason being, go into Aldia's keep. If you go to the drop, whereby you drop into the pool of corrosive uh, liquid that has two meat hounds, just at the edge of that drop you find bodies of giants. Why are giants bodies in Aldia's keep? It's obvious he must have been experimenting on them with his acolytes and archmages. And hence in the end when he found, when he wanted to create this ancient dragon body that he currently has, he must have taken these souls and imbued them with his own. Hence why you see the ancient dragon soul is the same as the old Iron King's soul and the soul of the rotten and the soul of the lost sinner. Lord souls that, are, that come from the first fire are always bright. There's a difference between the old Iron King's soul right now as you can see and the smelter demon soul. These are lesser souls born or divided from the first fire given by Gwyn. But then the great Lord Souls, the actual partitions of the Lord Souls, like Aldia being the brother of Vendrick, must have a great soul. So, one last thing. Go to that ancient dragon and kill it. You'll see what soul it will give you. And that's the soul of a giant. I'll see you guys soon.